Are you concerned if you have a video game addiction? If you are, then today we're going to share the nine warning signs that you need to watch out for. What's up everybody, Cam here, and today I'm really excited to share the nine warning signs that you need to watch out for for a video game addiction. Now, before I begin, I need to state that I'm not a medical professional. If you're concerned at all about whether or not you have a video game addiction, you want to seek professional help, this video is meant to be just an educational resource for you to understand more about what research shows and ultimately whether or not you need to be moving forward to get some help. Now on GameCorners.com, right on the homepage, we have a quiz that you can take that will walk you through the nine different questions that you need to know whether or not you have a video game addiction or even just to understand more about the severity of your situation. And right before I start, I just also want to state that meeting one of these warning signs does not mean that you might have a video game addiction. It's more about the combination of them and I'll share more information at the end. Warning sign number one, preoccupation. Are you constantly thinking about video games all day long? Are you counting down the hours before you get to play next? And it's not just about thinking about games all day long. It's more about the context of those thoughts. Is gaming the only source of your self-esteem? Is it the only place where you feel like you matter? Is it the only place where you feel like you are someone? If you're constantly thinking about gaming and it's the only source of your self-worth, that could be a warning sign. Warning sign number two, withdrawal symptoms. Are you feeling anxious when you're not playing? Do you experience headaches or boredom? Are you feeling a sense of urge or craving to play? Warning sign number three, tolerance. Tolerance means the need to play more and more and more. But it's not just about needing to play more. It could be the need to play more exciting games or the need to spend more and more money in games in order to feel the same level of excitement that you once felt. It also could be you continuing to play even though you don't even really find games to be fun anymore. Warning sign number four, unable to control your gaming. If you're gaming and you want to try to reduce it and limit it or you've tried to quit and you failed, then that could be a warning sign. Warning sign number five, have you lost interest in all other activities? Maybe once upon a time you played sports and you had other hobbies that you did, you spent a lot of time with friends in person, and now gaming is the only thing that you're doing. Your life revolves around gaming instead of gaming revolving around your life. Warning sign number six. Are you continuing to play despite negative impact? Are you failing school? Have you lost or are you struggling to maintain employment? Are your relationships being impacted? And yet you are continuing to play despite that. If you're continuing the game despite your life falling apart around you, that's one of the biggest red flags that you want to watch out for. Warning sign number seven, deception. Are you lying about how much you're playing? Are you playing when you're not supposed to? Are you spending money you're not supposed to on in-app purchases? Have you stolen a parent's credit card? If you're being deceptive about your gaming and you're unable to be honest about it, that's a warning sign. Warning sign number eight. Are you using gaming as a way to relieve a negative mood or to escape stress? Now, it's fairly normal to need to escape stress in your life and to use different activities to do that. But if you're continuing to game and you're really stressed and you're not going back to actually deal with whatever's happening in your life that's stressing you out in the first place and you're just avoiding everything, that would be a warning sign. And finally, warning sign number nine. Have you jeopardized or lost a significant relationship, school opportunity, or work opportunity because of your gaming? I dropped out of high school, I lost jobs, I lost girlfriends, and yet I continue the game 16 hours a day. So if these same experiences are happening to you, yet you continue the game, that's a big warning sign. To recap, here are the nine warning signs of a video game addiction, preoccupation, withdrawal symptoms, tolerance, unable to control or limit your time, loss of interest in all other activities, 
continuing to game despite negative impact, being deceptive, using gaming to relieve a negative mood, or have you jeopardized or lost a significant relationship, educational or career opportunity despite your gaming? Again, you can go on gamecores.com and do the quiz that will ask you these nine different questions and understand more about what your score is. If you're meeting four or more of these criteria, that's definitely something that you wanna take action on. And again, with the help of a professional, there's no shame in that. And hopefully using the resources on gamecores.com can help you move further in that direction. So I'm curious, what's your relationship like to gaming? Has it been a positive? Has it been a negative? Where are you at today? Share in the comments below. Let me know how your situation is going. And of course, make sure you hit subscribe, hit the bell so that you get notified when new videos are coming out, which is happening more and more often. We have a lot of exciting videos coming for you soon. So I hope you're having a great day and we'll talk then. All right, peace.